the James Webb Telescope recently found signs of a mysterious force in the center of the Milky Way. As the human species has evolved, so has our curiosity about the world around us. In the 21st century, we have access to technology that our ancestors could only dream of, and we are using it to explore the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope is one of the most advanced pieces of technology ever created, and it is helping us to uncover the secrets of the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope has completely changed the way cosmologists perceive the solar system and its objects. With its amazing ability to see things in space using infrared light, it has allowed us to get a better understanding of the universe around us. It is now the largest optical telescope in space, and with its great sensitivity, it can provide us with information about objects that are billions of light years away from us. Astronomers are in awe at the James Webb Space Telescope's JWST startling discovery of a massive structure while studying the Milky Way galaxy's contents. What precisely is this enormous structure? What effect will it have on cosmological research as we currently understand it? And what steps will scientists take in the wake of its discovery? This video will explain everything you need to know about the recent JWST discovery, including what the structure is, how it was found, and what its implications are for our understanding of the cosmos. As the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope is one of the most ambitious and complex scientific instruments ever built. The Space Telescope was designed to study the universe in infrared light, and it is named after the James E. Webb, the NASA administrator who oversaw the development of the Apollo program. The telescope is a joint project between NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is a powerful infrared telescope. It is the successor to the iconic Hubble Space Telescope, and it is one of the largest and most complex scientific instruments ever built. The telescope has a primary mirror made of 18 hexagonal mirror segments, each of which is made of gold-plated beryllium. The primary mirror has a diameter of 6.5 meters, making it nearly three times as large as the Hubble Telescope's mirror. The JWST also has a much larger light-collecting area than the Hubble Telescope, with a total area of 25 square meters. The James Webb Space Telescope is an incredible feat of engineering. It is designed to observe in a lower frequency range than the Hubble Telescope, from long wavelength visible red light through mid-infrared 0.6 to 28.3 micrometers. This means that the telescope must be kept in extremely cold conditions. A temperature of negative 223 degrees Celsius, negative 370 degrees Fahrenheit in order to function. The telescope is positioned in a solar orbit close to the sun's L2 Lagrange points, approximately 1.5 million kilometers, 930,000 miles from Earth, where its five layer sun shield protects it from the warming effects of the Earth's moon and sun. And on January 8, 2022, the crew assigned to the Webb mission finally deployed the telescope's 21-foot gold-coated primary mirror. This was the final stage of all major spacecraft deployments required for the Space Telescope, and it marked a significant milestone in the mission. On January 24, 2022, a few weeks after its launch, the mission team advanced Webb's position by turning on its thrusters and placing it in orbit around the Sun at the second Lagrange point. This would be its final location, approximately 1 million miles from Earth. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said, Webb, welcome home. He continued, Congratulations to the team for their unyielding efforts in making sure Webb arrived at L2 safely today. I eagerly look forward to seeing Webb's first new views of the universe this summer as we inch closer to solving the universe's mysteries. The James Webb Space Telescope was designed to have a wide view of the cosmos and to be able to see objects in great detail. It is able to do this because it is in a very cold location. This allows the telescope's optics to stay in a state that is perfect for seeing things clearly. The telescope also has a milestone on its first mission. This is when US President Joe Biden saw the first complete color image from the telescope. The image was very sharp and showed the president a lot of detail. The telescope is also able to take the best infrared image of the cosmos. On July 11, 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope captured its first deep field image. The image, taken in the infrared, depicts galaxy cluster SMAX 0723. The cluster contains hundreds of galaxies, as well as the furthest and darkest objects yet detected in the infrared. 
The next day, on July 12, 2022, more images taken with Webb's instruments were published, wowing the public and scientists alike. The Southern Ring Nebula, WASP 96b Spectrum, Stevens Quintet, and the Carina Nebula are just a few of the stunning images that have been released. Each one demonstrates the incredible power of the telescope and its ability to give us a new view of the universe. The discovery of these previously unseen newborn stars has given rise to a new cosmic creation narrative. This new narrative begins with the Tarantula Nebula, a stellar nursery that is teeming with new life. The nebula gets its name from the way its hazy filaments appear in earlier telescopic photographs. The James Webb Space Telescope has given us a new view of the Tarantula Nebula and has revealed its complex structure and composition. The nebula is not only home to new stars, but also to background galaxies that are far away. This new narrative of the universe is one of constant creation. It is a story of how, even in the midst of darkness, new life can always be found. The Tarantula Nebula is a reminder that the universe is always creating, always evolving, and always moving forward. The Tarantula Nebula is one of the most unique and interesting star-forming regions in the known universe. It is home to some of the most massive and hottest stars, and it has a very high density of star formation. Astronomers have focused three of the James Webb Space Telescope's high-resolution infrared instruments on the Tarantula Nebula in order to study it in more detail. When observed by the Space Telescope's near-infrared camera, the region looks very similar to a tarantula's habitat, complete with silk. This is an incredible example of how star formation can produce some very fascinating and beautiful structures. Based on what we observed in the image, we can see that there is a lot of young stellar activity taking place in this region of space. This is likely what is responsible for the strong radiation that we see emanating from the area. This radiation is strong enough to cut off the nebula's cavity, which is why we only see the outer regions of the nebula in the image. These regions are able to withstand the erosive effects of the stellar winds coming from the young stars. This results in the formation of pillars that seem to be facing the cluster of stars. These pillars contain protostars, which are in the process of formation. Eventually, these protostars will emerge from their dusty cocoons and take their place in the nebula. We can see that this process is already underway, as evidenced by the young star that we spotted in the Webb Telescope's image. Webb's high-resolution infrared spectra have allowed us to see star formation in action. The dust in the nebula glows cooler gas and hot stars when it is detected by the mid-infrared sensor of the Space Telescope, which reveals previously hidden protostars. By contrast, shorter light wavelengths are either absorbed or dispersed by the dust, which prevents Webb from being observed until longer mid-infrared wavelengths can penetrate the dust. The Tarantula Nebula is one of the most popular nebulae with astronomers, because it has a chemical makeup similar to the huge star-forming area seen in the early universe. The Tarantula Nebula is a fantastic illustration of the universe nearing its dazzling high noon due to its uniqueness. Through the use of the Webb Space Telescope's detailed images of distant galaxies, Scientists would be able to study and compare observations of star formation in the Tarantula Nebula to star formation in our own galaxy. The James Webb Space Telescope is on a quest to rewrite the story of stellar formation. The telescope's ability to see behind the massive cloud of stellar nurseries in clear, sharp images is already providing new insights into the formation of stars. The telescope is the largest optical telescope in the universe and is capable of seeing things that no other telescope can see. The telescope is helping us to understand the universe in a way that has never been seen before. And there you have it guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more great content like this. And leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time.